PowerCube version 15.6, that's the year 2015, and this was back in June when we did this design. But you can download the source code from our warehouse on the wiki. So in this, this PowerCube is the heart of everything. Here we go through some calculations, design considerations, but we want to look at all the modules. It's, once again, it's module-based design, so we break down the machine into all the functional components and build from there. The most unique part about this hydraulic power unit, which I don't think anybody else does, is, is including a, an integrated structural frame so that this power cube, you don't need a frame around it to make it useful. You can essentially put wheels on it. It's a structure in itself. So in our Lego-like modular construction set, it can become a ready module that you can play with. And it has a hydraulic engine that spins a hydraulic pump. So you're converting an engine like a Briggs & Stratton, which we currently use for 27 horsepower, into high pressure fluid flow at 14 gallons per minute and 3,000 pounds per square inch. And that's the essence of the power cube. As far as the parts themselves, you can download the, the SketchUp file. Here we go through a detailed breakdown of everything, including the, and just to go through the main things. There's the frame, the structural box beam tubing frame that we use in all of our machines. There's the hydraulic reservoir, which is the hydraulic fluid that pumps through the system. You need fuel, so there's a fuel tank module, the engine, the pump, oil cooler. The oil gets hot, so you need to cool it off, like in a car, you, you have a cooler. Uh, there's return plumbing, there's pressure plumbing module, the controls, which is essentially turning it on and having the quick connect couplers, which are used to connect to any, anything that you're powering. Then you have a battery module, solenoid module, and wiring harness. You can go through the details of that build. Uh, there's build procedures linked to all of these documents here. So just click on any of these to look at the step-by-step -step procedure and the details if you'd like to build one. The PowerCube is a project that we're currently working on actively. Right now we're using six of them in our bulldozer. Our next phases in that, in our roadmap, are to create one that's much lighter, about 200 pounds or under, compared to about 800 pounds for the heavy ones, but a light all aluminum power cube that would be used in automotive applications. So our open source car, finally, using the same technology, hydraulic fluid power, we believe we can get about 60 miles per gallon using that technology. Uh, the nice recent development was that we powered the power cube using char. So basically a charcoal gasifier, a very simple system where you convert local biomass into fuel for advanced civilization. So we're actually planning on right now taking the, the gasifier much further by generating charcoal in the winter as we heat our house with wood, with wood pellets. We will generate heat and the charcoal as a byproduct which we will use as fuel for our future versions of the power cubes. We've also considered uh, electric power cubes and we actually built a much smaller micro power cube that's electric powered. So the, the perspective there is you can have a tiny power cube because it, even if it's small and has low fluid flow, it still has that same pressure. So you can have a tiny power cube that's run by a solar panel doing things like, for example, moving a chicken tractor around or an, some kind of an animal tractor for agriculture we're actually planning to do GPS guided uh, chicken tractors and maybe pig tractors potentially because that little power cube, we also put that on the big tractor and we're able to drive that at 14 feet per minute. So it's very slow, but still you can move an entire 6,000 pound tractor with this one tiny power cube. So the hydraulic fluid power works extremely well because of its huge torque, ability to put, produce a lot of torque uh, as opposed to, say, electric engines, which are much more fickle, much more delicate, the hydraulics really lends itself for all the applications in agricultural machines or shop machines and so forth. So in this document, we also show in the build process how we used various jigs in the build. You can go through that. And um, this document describes the build process. But that was a very nice workshop where in three days um, we did a complete power cube and about 80% on five more. So overall, like after that whole week, we actually had six power cubes that are ready for running, which we are now using for the bulldozer.